Yes, I am a child, okay? Wanna hear something funny? So I was browsing the internet the other day looking for <laughs> stuff related to bowling. I came across this Reddit thread that was titled something like, I love Roman, but he's so annoying with his constant invitations to go bowling. And I'm sitting there reading through and reading all the replies and I'm like, huh, that's so interesting. Like, I cannot relate to any of this. I feel like I'm always the one that has to reach out to him to go bowling. Fast forward to a couple days later, I think I tweeted something about bowling because yes, I am obsessed, okay? And somebody replied to my tweet saying how normally Roman is so annoying, but I, yes, me, I have reversed the roles here and now I'm the annoying cousin. Yeah. <laughs> if that means I get to be the new Roman Bellic, then I'm here for it. Speaking of the devil, Roman himself, Nico Bellic. Uh, since I guess I'm the new Roman, I should work on my best impression. Nico Bellic, my favorite cousin. My shining star, no matter who you are, shine bright to see what you can truly be, what you can truly be. Uh. Shining star for you to see what your life can truly be. Okay, I don't know where that came from, don't ask. Let's take the grand tour of our new, um, humble abode. Very, very humble. Hmm. <laughs> There's definitely some cockroaches around here somewhere. Really love the decor, love the Monstera plant. Probably one of my favorite plants. A beautiful fold-out couch that definitely doesn't have stains on it. We have a half-eaten burger from, let me guess, Burger Shits. <laughs> oh, Dimitri, hello. Nico Bellic. we did not find your body with the others in the warehouse. Mr. Bulgarin and I were very disappointed. I was loyal to you, Dimitri. Why did you turn on me? You think I could survive in a cesspit of a city like this by aligning myself with a bottom feeder like you? You who has so many enemies! You robbed Bulgarin, you killed Mikhail, you know no more of loyalty than I do. You know why I killed Faustin? It was not my choice. I will find you, Nico. I have burnt you and your cousin out of Hove Beach. I will smoke you out of any other hiding place you have in this city. See you soon, Nico. Tell Mr. Bulgarin that I don't care. Also, I forgot my green screen. Professional YouTuber. Ooh, also, I have an entire list of things that I want to try to accomplish. I don't know. Some of them are small and inconsequential and could potentially lead to something really funny, which is my intention behind this, but other stuff is just, you know, let's do it and see where it takes us. First things first, I saw somebody mention that I should try turning on the TV. Oh. Happens in Las Venturas stays in Las Venturas, except when you're donating blood or semen to fuel a poker addiction. But before we forget, this section of the show <laughs> is presented in association with Release Gum. Because you chew, you <laughs> suck, then pow, life has shot a load in your mouth. <laughs> and because when the cards go against you, it's time to swallow, and it's good for you. No, 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 no. At the endurance of these serious athletes. This is amazing. Can we play poker? No How cool would it be if oh, we as right the character right. could go actually former manager of try out Rain audition? Donuts. I don't know. Rain go be in this massive poker tournament. That would be so cool. Oh, I just changed the channel. Uh, I love this channel. It's my favorite. Oh, and this channel too. Oh! Fight with me in the audience. Who wants to knife fight with me in the audience? Bass. Who wants to knife fight? Bass. Not me. You sound really constipated. You know, I had a colon cleansing. It was really fantastic. Man, I had so much fecal matter impacted inside of me. Ugh, it was such a drag. I tell you what, boss says will clean you right out. No. A nail gun. A nail gun. And then. 
I grab a circle of saw and then I cut off your arm. It's a very violent poo. And I start hitting with the wet part of the arm. I'm on a construction motif right now. Okay, let's go to the phones. So, he is the epitome of constipation and hypertension. Okay, these two dudes are stressing me out. Next! Generalizations. A history of decadence. A history of corruption. A history, history of, of liberty. Wait, did they say nakedness? I mean, we all come into this world On naked. Unless he, that's not what he said, then never mind. Horatio Humboldt, an English explorer. The eyelashes. By Dutch to find a new place to sell weed. Steered his trusty ship into the mouth of a great river, the Humboldt, which he wrote in his log. It is a strange and fortuitous coincidence that lush future site of commerce coincidentally shares the same name as me, for the locals call it the Humboldt. Honestly. That thing said. Looking through contemporary journals, even then the Humboldt River was 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 what was a is this? mess. The Chickasaw Indians would shit and 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 piss right in the river. It wasn't safe to swim in. With uh, that knowledge, yeah. it makes it much easier to ignore the awful. What? And an epic Did the you see the subtitle? It's so bad. This is a fever dream. What am I watching? Instead of the the Boston Humble Tea Party, the Boston the Pea Party. Harbor. That would become the greatest sociological experiment the world <laughs> that wasn't punny seen. that was not punny they wanted to find a place where they could party and kill people oh my and god yes, it does make the act of highway this is history that they do not teach in school i am learning so much i feel like i'm losing brain cells watching this <laughs> is this the history channel who'd been run out of europe by the what <laughs> okay next i want to see what else we got a block. Oh, hey. oh. A report from Florida we got cartoons. Or oh, I'm sorry, oh, animated God. shows and or films. It, soldier! You are specifically prohibited from firing off air Is this Master Chief? Hey, what's that up ahead? Oh, yeah. Oh, this, uh... Wait you a idiot, you're Hold looking it. at the microwave oven. Look at the screen. Oh, I'm sorry, Commander. I was cooking me up a quesadilla. <laughs> This here registers as a strange planet on the insurgent scan. Well, it's on the map. Fuck if I can pronounce a name. No surprise. Everything there, reminds me of her. Anyway, let's give them. Sorry, children. Well done, fellers. Put a note in the log. Encounter terrorist threat. Commence to liquidize same enemy. Freed mankind. And I'm recommended both of you sons of bitches for some more medals and shit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm recommending you guys for some more medals and shit. What is this? Okay, let's go to the next one. The boy. The nation was sliding inexorably. Wait, is this the the last channel that we were on? The history channel? Which I don't know how historical this stuff is, but it sounds historical. It is history of Liberty City. Ah! And beyond. This is so cool. I love that they put this in the game. It really builds the world it makes it feel real i could literally sit here for several minutes and just watch this tv oh my god that would be so much more fun to watch than watching people that are actually good okay let's be real none of us watched american idol for the good stuff at the end we all loved the beginning where we got to see the people that with all due respect weren't the best okay i arrest protesters at political conventions for strain outside the free speech zone we vigorously enforce the open container law and aggressively protect the environment Maybe you love car chases just like <gasps> Whoa, that's I've done that. I've done that. Do that every we call that car bowling. It's really, really I'm fun. Highly recommend. I'm a hero, and I know it. <laughs> They're doing donuts in the parking lot while eating a donut. All for the environment, you know. What? Coming up next, it's the tale of directionless heiresses and pill poppin' playboys on I'm Rich. I'm rich. <laughs> CNT! <laughs> CNT! <laughs> See you next Tuesday. You know what I mean. All right, let's go on to the next one. Nothing, nothing. I think that was the other channel that we saw. And the poker channel. Okay, it looks like we have gone through 
All of them? Cool. What? I pressed up instead of down. Wait, does that give us different channels? <gasps> Cluck and Bell, that's where I took... Oh my god, that's where I took Michelle on our first, like, food date, and I didn't buy her food. And then she she called me boring, and I had the audacity to wonder why, and how dare she call me boring, which reminds me that's another thing I have to do on my list. Stay jealous, people. I know I will. It's the decadence that you dream of, and it's only on I'm Rich. Eh, you know what? This is just making me feel bad about myself now. How do I get out of here? I'm sitting here watching rich people in my dingy apartment with cockroaches. Oh, the mamma mia, you can eat. Trackify wireless. Keep tabs on the ones <laughs> All the <you> mama mia. <laughs> Here we Who go again. All right, let's get out of here. Did he just say big logs? I think he did. Oh my god. Well, that was a treat. Dobro jutro, Liberty City. Hey, no! I forgot. Our other apartment was set on fire. What about my daily ritual of putting a hot dog in my mouth? Are you listening? It's not real, man! What's it's not real? Lies. It's all lies. The government lies to us. They put robots in the drinking water. They, 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 they put they robots put in the drinking water. In the okay. Toilets. They're killing you! <laughs> you want some more? You're drinking something, all right. I recommend you lay off. Ooh! money for my hot dog fund, but first I need to find a hot dog cart. Ooh, we can take money out of the ATM. <laughs> no need, thanks to this human ATM over here. Now I wanna make things right with Michelle. Wait a second. I saw I had an email from little Jacob. Cha, I still vexed about that dog heart, Dimitri. You got them rude driving skills to get I and I away from there. Keep your head down and keep in touch. Easy, LJ. Okay, now I want to call Michelle and ask her on a date. Never mind. Hey, Michelle, it's Nico. You want to meet up? <gasps> oh, it's you. It's been a while. Yes, pick me up in an hour. Great, I'll see you in an hour. Oh, so a date was the only option. And she gave me a Sorry, thumbs up. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I got my buttons mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, <laughs> wish I felt sorry, but I don't. <laughs> She's real for that one. Ah! All right, Michelle, time to take you on a proper date. Hey, Nico, let's go. Hey, where should we go this time? Let's give Cluck and Bell another go. I've seen it before. I think you look good in that outfit. I liked it last time. How's Mallory? We haven't spoken in a while. Did she just call me an outfit repeater? She's a great girl. I really like her. Me too. Nice girl. Yeah, she's done well. She comes from a very poor background. No, I come from a poor background. You people don't know what poor is. Hey, I'm sorry. By our standards, she comes from a rough part of South Bohan, full of crooks and killers. I imagine she knows some very dangerous people. And she's so normal. Yes, really normal. I really like her. And I... I think I like you. Thank you. Ooh. My pleasure. So I'm keep. not boring. There is a chance. All right. Round two at the Cluckin' Bell. <laughs> I love simple, homey places like this. Take Michelle back home. Ma'am, we haven't even eaten yet. Yeah, this will be better than just sitting here and letting the fryer grease clog up our pores, okay? Get ready. I want a quadruple decker of your finest beef, please. Hi, welcome to Cooking Bell. What can I get for you? A burger. <laughs> I would like a bur burger, actually. Fun fact. Um, my grandmother, one of her favorite places to go. She's from Croatia, by the way, or Bosnia. Bosnia, sorry. One of her favorite places to eat was Burger King, but for the life of her, she could not pronounce Burger King. Whenever she would pick me up from high school, it was always our tradition to go to Burger King. But she would always call it Booger King. B Burger, Booger King. Booger King. So now I think of boogers when I think of Burger King. One booger, please. Michelle, are you going to order something? 
Oh, nope, we're not even gonna sit down. We're just gonna eat it right in front of this nice lady here. Oh, yes. 100% foul. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's some great advertising. Should we sit? No, there's no sitting. Okay, well. I guess I'm just gonna have a burger, <laughs> and then, Michelle, you're gonna have to fend for yourself. I don't know what to tell you. Wait, what is the butt say? I scared Michelle, oh my god, I'm so sorry. But seriously, what does the butt say? cock -a doodle do No thanks. <laughs> Wait, did she just quit on me? What? What's happening? What's happening? Did I scare her? I scared her away. That's it, she's breaking up with me. With you. Michelle! Make my own way home, you freak. She had to announce it to the whole world. You freak! I'm going home. Cluck you. Well, I don't think that was a very successful date. <laughs> but I had fun. Ah! Hold on a second. Oh! <gasps> wait, 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 wait! It's not every day you almost get run over by an ambulance. I want to go in here. It looks like you can go in here. You can actually go inside other buildings? That is so cool. What can we do in here, though? Anything? Hello. I would like to wash my clothes. Since Michelle pointed out that it's exactly what I was wearing last time, and I actually don't think I've washed these clothes since I purchased them. I'm so happy. Oh, that's great. I'm glad you're happy. What the heck is back here? Oh, we got... <gasps> Ooh! Oh, wait, wait, wait! I just picked up a coffee cup. Of course I picked up a coffee cup. Here! Use this instead! It's better for the environment! <laughs> I said, use this because it's better for the environment! Someone clearly doesn't care about the environment. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop now before I pee myself and then I'm really gonna need a laundromat. Who the heck is Manny? Oh. <laughs> Let me just roll up into the playground. This is the one, man. We're gonna get a really nice shot of them. It's gonna be beautiful. I mean, you okay. caught them with these moves. Right? No. But we want to make sure that we see them. Okay. Okay, well, we want to see you, Just too. film it, man. Okay, well, just keep looking at me, but stand over there, okay? You've been here? Yes, 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 yes. Very cool. Good. Okay, yeah, go. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Zumba Ready, class? Please? Yes, I am. Turn this way, please. Turn this way. Five, yeah. six, looking at seven, me. eight, eight. Good, good, good. Right over here. Let me see you work. This way. Yes, good, okay. good, perfect. Cool, cool, cool. So how do I look, the man? Synchronized look dancing. Good. Do I look gay? No, not at all. It's, it's a very manly kind of dancing. Okay, so here we go, then. Yeah. See, it's the streets, man. But people gotta understand the struggles, for real. You know what I'm saying? They gotta understand the struggles, yeah. Oh, hey, Nico. <laughs> Mallory. This is my boyfriend's cousin, the guy I was telling you about, Nico. How's my Roman doing, anyway? For a guy who just lost his home and his business, who now has a price on his head, pretty good. <laughs> I love his optimism. So, Nico. This is Manny. We grew up together. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? Streets, man. All right. This is all the right. guy I told you about who beat up all those thugs and broke us. Yeah, great. Listen, Mallory, would you uh, give us a little space, please? All right, all right. Okay, yeah, great. So, uh, so you know, streets take no prisoners, right? But, you know, kids need hope. You know what I'm saying? Not really. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you gotta break some omelets to make some eggs, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and... Uh... Yeah, well, you know, we gotta clean up some eggs, brother. We're gonna clean them up, you know? Yeah, yeah, right here, right here. Turn around, man, right here. Here. Don't do that. Don't it's throw eggs on the floor. They're expensive. Cleaning up the streets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Turn that off. Wait, wait, wait. Criminals wait are trying to reform their neighborhood. Wait. Hey, hey, please, hey, hold on a second. Doing? Hey, hey. Ooh. Manny! I'm sorry. He knows how to make an impression. Uh, okay, everyone, that'll be all for today. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Thank you very much. That'll be all for today. Thanks a lot. What are you doing? What are you saying? What? We gotta get some of these dealers off the streets, man, you know? Uh, and I want him to know it was me, man. Fine, just uh, don't point the camera at me when you're doing it. Well, that's my testimony, man. Look, brother, would you help, please? Look, I got money. I got, I got money. 
In which case, you've got help. Good. All right. Hey, how's the camera? It's not good. What do you mean it's no good? Can, Just can you don't take even... Okay. All right, okay, well, listen, look, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get all these dealers off the streets, and we're gonna kick their ass, and they're gonna know it was me. All right, I think we have to get a car. Let's take this one. It's not being used. They, they clearly don't need it. Last I heard, these dealers was up on Grand Boulevard. Let's go take a look, man. So, you and Mallory is tight, huh? She and your cousin is together now. I love that girl, man. I love her, man. Your cousin better not be messing with her head. You're gonna propose, right? What do you mean you love you're gonna her? You're make an honest woman of her, right? I think that's as much of a decision of Mallory's as it is Roman's. I don't know if he's grown up enough to make a good husband. What's it to you, anyway? The dealer and his drug wagon are up there. Pull up behind him, we wait. I didn't know you and Mallory was that close. Shit, man. Man, he's close to everyone who grew up on the streets of South Boham, man. They're my people, all right? Sure. All right. There he be. We got to follow him to them other leeches, man. They be sucking the damn life out of these streets. Follow the dealer to the meet. Don't let him know you're following him. Okay, so we gotta keep some distance. My question is, how close is too close? You know, when I was stalking this girl in Europe, I found that two car lengths was the best distance. Oh! <laughs> Way to work it into Nico's background telling me what to do, while also giving us some kind of creepy insight. Oh yeah, this doesn't look suspicious at all. Me purposefully you know, stopping very fine, far man. behind him. I can feel them flowing through my veins. You sound like you got something else in your veins. Man, I ain't touched that shit in years. Who you been talking to, man? I'm clean, man, serene, fucking serene. Oh, I'm sorry. You ever thought about doing some TV? You might be able to get a series of the back of mine, you know? Nico, Bellic, street justice, bro. Not really my scene. Just wait till you see your face on the screen, man. Maybe you change your mind then. Yeah, I always wanted to be a well-known idiot. <laughs> you said to me, Maddie, why you do this? Why you want to clean up the streets so bad? What's your passion? Do you tell them to get famous? It's for the love, man. They know me because I help people, man. I'm all love, kid, for these streets. Looks like he's about to stop, yo. You best pull up behind him, man. Follow him into that warehouse and get rid of the dealers. Gladly. I thought you were going to clean up the streets. Hey, the message is what's important, man. It don't matter who gives it. I, for one, ain't in this shit for the ego trip. You taking my money, aren't you? Be my voice. I'm gonna go back and get Jay. He's leaving me here? It's okay, I can just steal another car to get the heck out. <laughs> if things go badly, which they will. Oh, the do I just walked right into the door. The door is locked. Of course it is. All right. How else are we supposed to get in there? Does this door work? Nope. Looks like there's a way in back here. Maybe we have to climb on the building? Ooh, we got a text from Manny. When the streets closes a door, they open a window. Get up in that shit. Oh, I see. Sounds like we have to look for a window. Hmm. Okay, maybe we have to break the window first. Yes. Yeah, that's that's not a dead giveaway. Ooh, health pack. Cut him up, boy. Oh, okay. Wow. You waste no time. No, 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 get this guy. Or th this guy's fine too. Yeah, yeah, that, yep. Oh. I don't need a different weapon. The Uzi is just fine. There we go. Okay, how many are left? There's another guy up there. Ooh, this is a job for... The Molotov, if I have any left, I don't! 
No! Okay. We need to get some ammo. Oh, I'm scared. There's a lot of sprunk in here. Bust me! Bust me! You in some real shit now! Excuse me? Oh. Ah. You should not have engaged with me. Oh, who's who's that speaking? Okay, it says shoot out the door. This door over here? Oh yeah. The fearsome street warrior stands yeah. outside the site of another gangland massacre. That's right. Oh, cut. What? Okay. I ruined what? the shot. Oh, oh, oh. Could you walk out of there just one more time? We need to get the shot just right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. I can put my foot through your face if you like. I don't mind doing that again oh, and again till oh, I get it right. Easy, easy, Nico. Hey, did it look good? Huh? Was it a good mixture of that sadness and resolve? You looked great. Great. Yeah, let's do okay, it. Okay, from the top? Yeah, right here. Wait, wait where are you going? Right. Nico's oh, not having it. Death and the police aren't even here yet. Help has only one name on the streets of South Bowen. Many Escuela. That's right. Follow me. We'll be prepared. Street life ain't pretty. I want to do another Manny mission. Street sweeper. Okay, guys. I just want to get one more shot, okay. please. This is going to look great. Right over okay. here. Well, Officer, well, please, well, I need you here. this way. Thank you. Tight up oh. with Manny. I need you guys okay. tight. It's going to be great. Okay, thank you. A little closer. Right. A little closer. Thank you All so right. much. Cool. It's wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. Uh, beautiful. Now, we are going to be... Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. All I can say is I hope you'll continue to make the community a better place. Hey, man, you know, for a cop, you ain't so bad, man. You know, give it up. The streets, man, <laughs> word, give oh, it up. Okay. <laughs> right. Hey, Officer McCree, yeah. this is Nico right here. This is oh. my man, Nico. Oh, good to meet you. Uh, I hear you're helping this guy with his vital work for our city. Oh, no, I'm uh, just a tourist. Uh, look, Manny, I gotta go. All right. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, officer. Thanks. Yeah, you know, it was a real big thing for me, you know what I'm saying? A real street cat to start working with the gatekeepers of the community to make things better. I mean, where I'm from, out here, man, police, it's a dirty word, man. Manny, you know? I got things to do. You, off. Yo, man, I was just getting my flow on, man. I ain't right for years. I was one of them cats who invented that shit, man. It went commercial. Yeah, like charity work. Shit, man, I'm the voice of the streets, man. Yo, if I'm gonna make some money, that's the way shit's gonna be. All right, I'm just saying. See, whatever, man, fucking punk. <laughs> Yo, listen, homeboy, I, I need you to do me a favor, man. Listen, man, I need you to help me out, man. I need you to get some bitches taken out, moved on, whatever. Because, yo, I promised Mr. McCready I was going to get this place cleaned up, and I will. Okay, how many? A bunch, man, a bunch. They're hanging out and making bad shit happen all over South Bohan, man. They're over on Windmill Street right now. All right. What did they do? Man, they disrespected the codes of the streets, man. The streets, man, they owe you, man. They owe you big time. As long as they pay. <laughs> over here, man. I'm on you. Yo. That's what I'm saying, man. Streets, we got codes, man. You know what I'm saying? We live by these codes, you know what I mean? I love how Nico's bringing the authenticity. Clean out the gang members. Gladly! Ooh. <laughs> Stay put! And then where's the other guy? Ooh, there's more of them coming. <laughs> I didn't even have to leave my car. There's another dude up here. Were we gonna do this in front of the cops? I guess so. Ah! What? No, it was all them, not me. You're coming after the wrong person. I'm cleaning up the streets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> People are getting run over in the chaos. Okay, looks like our job here is done. <laughs> Manny, I got rid of your street problem. Now help me out with my financial one. Yeah, it's all business with you, kid. That's okay. Money for me. Hey, man. I'll call you when I get more work. Stay safe. Stay real. Hey, hey. Freaking cops. Get out of here. Woo! This is a first. This is a first. Bail. Go. Go. <laughs> oh, my God. Like that 
he now no longer needs. I'll be taking that. Mallory. Hey, Nico. You tired of Manny yet? I was tired of him as soon as I saw him. <laughs> I got someone else who might have some work for you. Elizabeth Torres. She's got an apartment on San Quentin in Forsyth. A new character. No, 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 no! I believe I can fly. I believe that I'm gonna, I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> I'm gonna get arrested. Ah! You know what? Get the bike. Get the. Oh shit. Um. Yep. Take me in. Take me in. I was gonna tell you to take the toll and shove it, but never mind. Just take me in. First time getting arrested. <laughs> Ever. <gasps> uh. Let's not make it a habit. Roman. Hey, man, it's me. Let's play darts. Yes! Absolutely! All right, man. Let's play darts. I pick you up in next hour. Okay, man. I will see you soon then. Oh, this just got so much better. How could people ever find that annoying? Hey, buddy, do not do that again. Oh my gosh, sir, I'm so sorry. Let me let me pick that up for you. Oh, no, no, you first. You first, Last please. Did that is doing time. I just got out from doing time, so it hey, can't be worse than this. Me. Sir, you dropped your coffee, and I seem to not be able to pick it up. Cuidado! <laughs> wait, 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 what? Wait, wait. I'm just trying to return the cop's coffee. <laughs> I accidentally pushed this guy into an early grave and then she's tripping on something. I already told you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know that they could hold on to the <laughs> to the door and get dragged. That is <gasps> Oh, that was so funny. <gasps> Ooh, wait, 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 wait. I hope we have some time before we go pick Roman up. I have to talk to this person. Hello? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, it's you. Oh. I thought we scared him away. Hey, man. Remember me? Yes, unfortunately. Sure, the crack smoking American dream. I'm clean, man. <gasps> What a ride. Yeah, you look good. I feel good. Good. I sank as far as a man can sink when you're given blowjobs at 10 bucks a pop so you can score your next rock. And I have an Ivy League education. Jesus, what a disgrace. But I'm over that now. I'm engaged. Hey, congratulations. Hey, I owe you, man. I mean, I was a dick, but I'm making up for it. I was a loud mouth dick, and I apologize. Hey, apology accepted. Don't worry about it. Listen, I gotta go pay off one of my dealers. Make things right. Would you come with me? I hate to ask, but I'm afraid the temptation might get to me. Please. Sure. Oh, okay. Awesome. Well then, sorry, Roman. <laughs> I need a vehicle. Darts will have to wait. Look at here, we have a vehicle. It's in better shape than mine. What did I ever do to you? I love their screams of terror. Wait, wait, did he just say onion on Asparagus Avenue? I asked my sponsor to come along, but he says this is something I gotta do without him. Thanks for helping me, dude. Do not mention it. This is step number nine in the program. I'm making amends to all those I harmed. Expensive process. Could be. That said, it's a lot harder to ask people to write off the emotional debts than the financial ones. True. The problem hurt a lot of people. True, so true. You can always make money back, but the emotional toll, that's forever. Very wise. That's them. Do you mind waiting here? So he's just gonna go talk to him. You're pretty dumb for a banker. You forgot about interest, bitch. <laughs> trust the higher power. Trust the HP. Oh! oh! 
Oh my! Okay. I'm coming! Here, see God right now! Wait, I don't have... Where were my weapons? Hold on, guys. Um, God, God needs a moment. God needs a moment. Oh, uh, jeez. Okay. Let's go. Uh, uh, you are the one with a pipe. I'm glad you were here for me. Anytime. My place on Wappinger? Absolutely. Oh, 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 yep. I, I guess we do need him in the car. <laughs> are you upset that you couldn't make amends? Step nine's a tough one. Not everyone wants you to get better. I'll talk about it in group. You have to have the serenity to accept the things you cannot change, the courage to change the things you can. And the wisdom, and the wisdom to, know, wisdom the to difference. know the difference. Right, dude? I mean, that makes sense. I just can't always live it. That is a healthy attitude. Thanks for everything. Here's a token of my gratitude. Stay safe. What a great redemption arc. Because he was a turd. 500 bucks? Oh, yeah, that was worth it. <gasps> no, Roman, no, 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 buddy, no, no, no. But I did a good deed, okay? Yo, NB, you left me hanging. Call me next time you can't make it to an appointment. It'll give me time to arrange a date with a hot, bored housewife, Rome. No. I want to try to call him again. Uh, I might have to wait, though. We have another friend, or is it the same dude? Who the heck are you? From here, he kind of looks like Nico. What the heck? Comrades! Excuse me? Didn't I see you at Comrades, pal? Where? That bar. Mickey's place. I'm sure you was one of those cubby bastards used to come in there. I remember you. Yes, you were the drunk guy who fell over. <laughs> That's about right. I was a mess. A mess. But I'm all sorted out now. I'm over that shit. Good for you. Yeah. Yes, sorry. I'm a new man. Not dependent on anything. No more drink, no drugs. Even gave up hookers. Everything. Good. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> it's good to share. Cool. Sharing is caring. I'm a positive person now. Positive. I threw it problems. Now they are just opportunities. Love that. Good luck with your opportunities. I've got to go. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. I know this is a lot to ask, but I, I was wondering. I owe a guy some money from my drinking days. And he's kind of angry. I, I don't suppose you could come along and uh, keep him cool. I'm going to pay him back. Please? Okay. Uh -huh. I got some free time. <laughs> They're just off Montauk in an alley. Look at us being a good citizen, helping out other citizens. You'd be amazed by the things I've been doing since I cleaned up. I'm waking up before dawn, for Christ's sake. Obviously, the DTs hit me pretty hard when I first got sober. I bet they did. Shit, I couldn't hold a glass of water without spilling it all over myself. And you should have seen the can after I was done with. Oh, like the fucking sprinkler had gone off. Dry now, though. Dry as a bone. Huh. Bone. This is where they should be. Can you clear things up with him? Don't worry. I'll make sure everything's cool. Yeah, let me do it. <laughs> We're here to pay back the money my friend here owed you. He doesn't want no trouble. You think money's gonna do it? Do you, Mel? Can't you remember coming over to my place, throwing the TV out the window, pissing all over my couch? Plumber would kick me out on the street. You got a lot of debt to pay, Mel. I know, baby, that Let me, let, oh my God. Holy, where's my gun? Where's my freaking? Give me your, give me your weapon. Where the heck is my gun? What is happening? Why do- Where are my- Where are my weapons? What is happening? 
Wait, I have to try we something. Weapons and we know how to use them. Please let me buy a weapon. What weapons can I buy again? Most of these are model only. Okay, let's try buying a pistol. Please work. Please, please. Okay, oh, buy it. Yeah, beautiful choice. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was going crazy. I thought I had a game-breaking glitch, but turns out when you get arrested, they confiscate all of your guns. And sure, the game probably told me that in a prompt, but I was too focused on the burger guy, okay? Priorities. I was hungry. So now I have to come here and purchase all of my guns back. Thank God I will take that over a glitch any day of the week. Nice choice. Classic, what else can I purchase? And attractive to the eye. Oh my, I was, I was starting to get so nervous. Oh my God, I was sitting here like hyperventilating. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to reload my save. I'm gonna, I'm about to lose like hours of gameplay and video and oh my God. I have never been so happy to spend money and get my guns confiscated in my entire life. I'm so happy that's what it was. Woo! Stay safe. Stay Second Amendment. Oh, stay, stay safe. Stay Second Amendment. And more importantly, stay sexy. So what's the lesson for today? Don't get arrested. I will never make that mistake again. Brucey will make me feel better. Two, thirty-three, thirty-five. There's someone here to see you. I'm working out. <laughs> hey, Brucey. Nico, one second. Forty. <clears throat> Why didn't you tell me it was Nico? Why? Man, women. Man, women. Excuse me. What about women? Yeah! Man, I'm ready for you, Nikki. I'm ready. I'm ready for fucking anything. Yeah! Wah! 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 Whoa! Oh, Are you all right? You seem a little tense. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm just juicing. It makes me a little pent up. Juicing? Yeah. Bull shark testosterone, amigo. Ordered online from Chile. Makes you feel really male. Yeah, be careful, man. I heard that stuff does funny things to your ball. <laughs> Do I look like I got funny balls to you? <laughs> I haven't considered it. Uh, you sent me a message. What do you want? Want help? I'm losing the plot here. Pause. Nah, I'm shitting you, man. Now look, you did really good with that thing. A lot of people are very grateful. Now listen, that guy Lyle had a car worth stealing. Can you get it? He left it in an alleyway off of Yorktown Avenue in Steinway. If you pay like last time, no problem. Yeah, of course. Any risks? Nah. Easy as can be. Yeah. <sighs> okay, uh, I'll just go take care of it then. Yeah! Bye. <laughs> Women? More like Brucey. What the hell? <laughs> Brucey's in a league of his own. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I'll be taking that. <laughs> what? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And it's gold. I like gold. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, wait. We're here. Walk around and get the car. All right. Ooh. Just wanted to make sure I still had my guns on me. Now I'm gonna be so paranoid. <laughs> no risks, Brucey? Maybe this juicing is fucking with your head. He trying to take Lyle's ride. It's mine now. Ooh! We're getting sandwiched. You ain't driving away in this. Get the car back to Brucey's lock. Okay! Let's go. What? Who are you? They're not the guys with guns, right? 
they followed us almost all the way here. Brucey asked me to bring this by. You're lucky it looks as good as it does. The only thing Brucey thinks is good looking is himself in the mirror. Thanks. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> the car is in your lockup. It was not so easy. People were waiting for me. Shit, man. If I'd known it'd be like that, I'd have gone to get it. People don't fuck with Brucey. I mean, you're cool, though. You made it, man. You got the mad red army driving skill. I'll sort you out with some big rims, spinning ones. Crazy original styles, you know? We'll cruise, we'll hang. All right, all right? Thanks, homie. Thanks. Yeah, give me a new car, but for now, let me get this minivan. The mommy mobile. Let's go. These things are great, reliable. I kind of wish I had one. Let's do one last mission for Brucey today. Out of the closet. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. Hey, guys. <gasps> Roman. Sorry about darts. Sexy. I'm really sad. Hey! Hit me! What? Hit me! Come on! Oh! oh my god. Rico, you wanna go on a date? Uh... <laughs> Come on! What's He's all show, you? no substance. That's okay. so funny. Who is she? That's the thing. It's a guy. Fuck you. No, dude! Listen! The cousin of that guy you killed, Lyle Revis, owes me a lot of money. And the dick won't pay. Instead, he said he's gonna have me kill that bitch. Hiya! <laughs> Hiya! Percy, you got to chill. For real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now listen, NB, this guy isn't hiding, but... He's a serious... He's a serious cockhound. Oh, so you think of me? No, but the guy knows me, and I don't think anyone would date that fat slob. So, I'm just doing your profile. All right, let me see. He actually slammed his head I on the wall. I am a vulnerable guy who needs to be held by big, strong arms. <laughs> yeah. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> I knew we should have made him a giver, not a taker, Brucey. Oh, shut up! <laughs> now listen, Nikki. I need you. I will pay heavily for this. Okay. And Roman, cousin, you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nicky! <laughs> Shit. He might be crazier than Trevor. I don't think Trevor would ever do that to himself. Oh, we're going back to the internet cafe. Oh, no. <laughs> what else are we going to find? Next stop. Twat. <laughs> All right, man. I'm at the internet cafe. What now? The website is Love Meat. <laughs> Go to it, bro. The guy Love you want to date with is using French Tom as his screen name. You heard animal, man. Eat him alive, okay? Uh, oh, oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm, I'm on a diet. <laughs> ah. <gasps> What's up? It's good to see you again. It's good yeah, to see you good too. To see you. It's Nico, by the way. Yes, it's me, Nico. I would have been here sooner, but I accidentally hit a cop, and I'm sure you can guess what happened next. <laughs> Today has been a trip. Let's just say that. Okay, so we got to go to the web. Love meet. Right. Conjoined twins. Ooh, maybe we can see what's different. Liberty Tree, Arson, Spate, and Broker. What? Oh! This was about Roman stuff being set on fire, right? Following the massive rise in shootings recently in Eastern Bro Broker, police warned of a new danger lurking for residents, arson. Two buildings, including a taxi garage, were recently gutted by fire, although two men were seen starting the fire with Molotov cocktails. No arrests have been made. We will stay with this story if we can find something interesting to say. In the meantime, be very suspicious of anyone buying vodka, matches, and gas-soaked rags. But try not to panic. Local police were appealing for calm and also lots of snitches and widespread anxiety. Let's play search roulette and see what they have. <laughs> Leftovervacations.com, Liberty Tree Online, Yesterday's News Today. What do they have there? Anything? No. Babies overnight. Having a baby is as easy as logging onto the internet. Pink tor... Pink torpedo. Oh my god, has anyone seen the movie Spinal, Spinal Tap? 
Let me sink it with my pink torpedo. I love that movie. I love that movie so much. One of the funniest movies of all time. And I'm dead serious. Like, it's so funny. <laughs> Keeping your private information private. Lies. Damn lies. Sleep with one eye open and the other eye closed. <laughs> Let's look at babies overnight, shall we? Don't ruin your body for someone who's going to hate you in a few years and steal money from your purse. Having a baby is as easy as logging onto the internet. Nine months without sex, nine months without a drink, an irritable and irrational spouse, the danger of falling off the wagon and having a child with fetal alcohol syndrome that everyone points and laughs at and is a burden until your dying day. Okay. I want to point out a difference between this game and GTA 5, okay? This one is so much darker and the humor, they're both funny, but the humor in this is so uh is mature the right word for it but i don't know i would definitely say it's way more adult there is no way my parents would have let me play this as a kid it doesn't have to be this way at babiesovernight.com you pick the kind of baby you want and have it delivered the next day so it's like amazon for infants that's not right what do they have two-day shipping no cord to cut no morning sickness no having to stop drinking and smoking no post-birth vagine vagine that looks like a wind <laughs> that looks like a wind tunnel <laughs> wow wow okay 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 I have to tell a joke. It's not my joke, okay? Whose joke was it? Anyway, I'm sure I'll remember it after I say it. Oh, the comedian's name is Nikki Glaser, and I think she's so wickedly funny. I absolutely adore her. But she has this outstanding joke where she describes her vagine looking like a hastily packed suitcase. Mm -hmm. And... Boy, am I really upset that I didn't think of that one on my own. Once again, gentle reminder, children, stop watching this video. At babiesovernight.com, you can choose from all creeds and colors. All of the mothers on our birthing farm <sighs> follow the strict moral code of ethical gestation instituted by Eugenics Incorporated. Um, that's a hyperlink. <laughs> I really want to click on it, but I really shouldn't click on it because I'm pretty sure I'm in hot water with YouTube. Uh, <laughs> the, the amount of times these videos have been hit with limited monetization because of the contents and I wonder why. I may or may not just check it out in a little bit. Okay, what's hot? Africa? All the celebs are rushing to adopt a child from the land that is the oldest inhabited territory on Earth. Own a piece of history with a child from... Yup, okay. We also have strong, silent German babies. Feminine chain-smoking French babies. <laughs> British babies with teeth that never fully divide. I Oh my god, I feel... So I'm going to hell for laughing at this stuff. Passionate Hispanic babies. Moronic Southern U.S. babies. <laughs> or an Australian baby that will love to play army, but always... <laughs> always loses. Oh my god, I love this game so much. Oh. And then we have the same catchphrase down here don't ruin your body for someone who's gonna hate you in a few years and steal your money from your purse order now all babies delivered overnight in a box in a box in a box i see what you did there that's funny that box is gonna end up looking like a wind tunnel or rather not because of this delightful service I am going to H-E double hockey sticks. YouTube, please, for the love of all that is holy, please don't ban me. All right, forgive me guys, I have to click this hyperlink. Oh, thank God. 
Thank God this is it. No! They changed the search on us. Oh man, there were some other ones that I wanted to see. Oh man, but these ones look hilarious. Gripe, the future is calling. Friends without faces, do you remember the glory days before the internet when people used to spend time writing and corresponding? Yes, I do. And I miss those days of the internet where it was a couple hilarious forums, incredibly funny memes of cats, and some other stuff. Love your meat. <laughs> oh, Area 53 site, and I love to blow. For everyone that didn't believe that I actually owned a didgeridoo, they should rebrand it to didgeridon't do. <laughs> oh, I am out of breath. This is probably something you don't often see in gameplay videos or most videos on the internet, but what can I say? Welcome to the Mirandalorian GTA experience. Now we have to check the didgeridoo website. <laughs> what? <laughs> Interesting facts, didgeridoo in the news, big instruments for little men, the dig shop. I don't need to buy one because I already got one. Didgeridoo fans rejoice. Who can resist wrapping their lips around an indigenous instrument? People have been playing the didgeridoo for 40,000 years, which means that it's okay and actually explains a lot of erotic cave art. It's Australia's most popular pastime and solves the mystery of why we lost the war. Scholars claim that the word didgeridoo means monotonous drone that makes you want to... Oh, that's dark. Oh, that's dark. Guys, I don't think you've ever... Uh, maybe you could tell in previous playthroughs, but I don't know. I think it took playing the GTA games to really showcase how dark my sense of humor can get, okay? In Gaelic, it was coined by Irish settlers who arrived in Australia to set up a theme pub at the end of the 18th century, mistaken for bongs by whacked out college students. Wait, wait, I, I don't, I wish I knew how I came by it to be quite honest, but I don't think anyone I know mistook it for a bong. Didgeridoo started to appear in the USA in the 1960s and hippies have been groaning down plastic tubes in city parks ever since. <laughs> Y'all, you guys know where to find me now. <laughs> Playing the didgeridoo is a spiritual journey. I, I, yep, I definitely saw God back there. One that takes you to places you've never been, out of breath and humiliated. <laughs> I feel seen. What could be more natural than squatting down half naked with your lips wrap, wrapped around a tree? I love to blow.org is the definitive site for didge devotees from all corners of the globe. I am now a Dig devotee, tay, whatever. Area 53 posted December 28th, 1999. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This website's not really giving alien though. My friends, fellow believers, shutting down my radio show was not something I did lightly. I have received your letters of sadness from throughout the country. Thanks to the many incarcerated listeners who have sent pictures and shivs, it was out of necessity to end this in that it is inevitable what is about to happen and I must protect myself and my research from harm. Thanks to the guys at liesdamnlies.net and don't... What? Domestobotlovers.com for, for the rally they held in support of me. Throughout this rocket summer, I have prepared my ship. As I call my underground bunker in preparation for what will be an apocalypse of catastrophic planet-wide proportions, Y2K is very real, and those that do not prepare will perish. Nostradamus, Cicero, even Abraham Lincoln predicted this day. The day when computers would f mankind sideways. And I, for one, am not going to go down like a spaceship in the desert and be left to rot. My robot creations and I have been digging for five years. The day has come. The million year picnic begins, my friends. I will emerge 10 years from now to take us to that new place with a new radio show and the wisdom I've gained from living underground with my robot friends. 
Has the future already happened someplace else? Don't believe what they tell you. It begins here. As I close the hatch, remember what I have taught you. Krant and good luck. Marvin Trill. Oh, look, Brucey has his own website. Oh, speaking of Brucey, <laughs> let's go to Love Meet. Uh, I think, oh God, what was their name? French something. Yes, French Tom, about me. Sweetie, I'll tell you all about me when and if we go on a date. If I reply to you, you're going to love what you see. Trust me. Chances are, though, you're a fat, desperate old guy who can only afford to eat at Burger Shot. <laughs> what? They got one dollar burgers! Guess what? If that's you, French Tom is going to say, Bon voyage! I like money, and I like defined muscles. <laughs> they like celebrities, being famous, getting pampered, singing along to burlesque musicals. Okay. Okay, French Tom. I see you. I love that movie, Burlesque, with Cher and Christina Aguilera. Mm, there's too much talent in that movie. Watch at your own risk. I've heard a lot of people talking about this whole work thing. It really doesn't sound like my scene. I'm not going to lie. I want a free ride. At least they're honest about it. I figure that going out with you is probably going to be hard work, so why don't you pay me a salary to do it? It'll be worth your while. They dislike people who are financially challenged, members of the fat liberation movement, or aesthetically inferior. That's poor people, fat people, and ugly people. You get the picture. If you want to get with me, you better have the looks and the dollars to back it up. Date? <laughs> you sent a date request to French Tom. Log off. Should we log off, though? Wait, do we have mail? Huh, big cash. Make money with no problems. Teresa Thomas, your high school sweetheart. Say hello. Oh, no. Roman, Michelle, Roman. Good to see you online. Brucey, genetically different baby. <laughs> Hassan, how you doing? Who's Hassan? Hey, man, how you doing? Did you decide to stay in Liberty City? How's your cousin? I stayed. I heard everyone did. Did you hear about poor captain? Poor man? He turned up dead and drunk in the river. And everyone else jumped ship? I wonder what those Chinese guys did with that heroin they were supposedly smuggling. <laughs> anyway, I jumped ship and I'm around. I'm just down in Florida. But I'm back soon. Hopefully bump into you. I might get... I might get job selling fake handbags in Suffolk. There's a lot of money to be made there. It's crazy. I don't know who the heck this person is, but let's reply and encourage this. Nice to hear from you, Hosan. I stayed. Let me know when you're back in town. Ooh, I wonder if we're going to meet this person. I had to go back into the search to see if anything changed, and I absolutely love playing this game of search roulette. It is so funny. Bean machine tastes like fuel, kicks like a mule. That's so funny. Who thought of that? I would give anything, anything to sit in a room full of all of the people that came up with this stuff because I just, I can only hope that your comedy genius rubs off on me. All right, I think that's enough for today. Log out. Allow some time for French Tom to check Love Meet and email you his reply. While I wait, can I invite Roman to play some darts? Please? Cousin, hello. Why don't we go play darts? Just like in old country, eh? Yes! You are the next hour and we play the darts. I am coming to get you, Roman. <gasps> Ooh! Darts are back on the menu, boys. Brucey. Nicky, we gotta talk serious. All right, man. If you want my advice, the only way you're going to get your balls back to normal is if you stop juicing or you get implants. How many times? I have to tell you, homie, my balls are golden, okay? I want to talk to you about Roman. He's got a problem. He's gold member. Like an Online, in clubs, everywhere. You need to control your cousin, bro. Roman's a grown-up. He can look after himself, Brucey. He's getting involved with some serious cats, homie. Even people I might think twice about dealing with. And I'm one dangerous motherfucker, okay? Put him in Gambler's Anonymous or something. I'm starting to think he's more interested in cards than chasing pussy. And that ain't cool, you think? Sure, Brucey. Thanks for the heads up. 
balls that are gold. Gold member anyone? Austin Powers? Roman, let's go play darts. This is such a violent nation. <laughs> what? There you are, cousin. Let's move. I just want to play some darts. I guess that could get pretty violent. What do you think about America, Nico? Tell me straight. You love it, no? I don't know, Roman. It is the same as any other place, only louder. People don't know how to shut up here. I bet you would like to teach them, wouldn't you, cousin? But you can't. Or at least you can't teach everyone. Really, you don't like it? The lights, the titties, the food, the opportunities? The titties! Come on, Nico, it, it's kind of incredible. It's stupid. Everything is just advertising with nothing to back it up. They tell you you're eating the best burger ever. And you believe it until you're sweating out all the chemicals in it and the hormones are making your balls feel fine. My balls feel fine, but uh, I did notice my man tits getting larger when I was eating a cluck and bell every day. Everything else is fake too. The titties aren't real and the opportunities aren't opportunities at all. To seize them, you end up in so much debt that you'll be a slave for the rest of your life. I cannot believe what you were saying. Do you seriously mean that you don't like fake titties, cousin? Seriously. He's right, though. A lot of people just say whatever's on their mind, just spewing their opinions. True wisdom is knowing when to STFU. Let's go play some darts! This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Sorry, Roman. Oh, uh, I'm here. Come here. Roman, do you need help? I think you may need some help. Do, do I just go in? Hopefully you'll just follow me. <laughs> so now we can finally come in here! Oh my gosh, this is so cool! I love pubs that look like this. So rustic. How to play darts. Okay, I played enough in GTA 5. I should be an expert. All right, let's go for a triple 20. We're gonna win this. Yeah! 60 points. Oh, we could do the steady shot, thank goodness. Let's do another triple 20. Excuse me, Roman? You're about to eat your words. Now for another triple 20. Ooh. Oh! 121 points remaining. Remaining. Ooh. Okay. We're doing better. Let's keep going with the triple 20s. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh, shoot. 61 points remaining. Okay. Why did you join the Merchant Navy? Something you're not telling me? <laughs> okay, we have 50 points left, right? We should be able to hit a bullseye and win, right? Oh, no! I never miss. Oh! I never miss! play again this is my jam this was also the first time i'd ever won a game with the bullseye let's go again let's go again let's go again yeah yeah let's do that we're gonna go for the 60 <sighs> another 60 and another 60 there we go. Lucky bastard. It's not luck, it's pure talent. 241, isn't that what he got last time too? You know what, let's change it up a little bit because I don't wanna use the same exact strategy as last time to win. That'll be boring. Let's do bullseye, since we know we're good. Oh shoot. Nice one, Nico. Nice one, Nico. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's do another bullseye. 46 points remaining. Let's do a double 20. Oh. oh, I just barely got it. Six will be easy. So now it's six to 181. Whoa. Where the heck is the three? Oh, I found it. Okay, so double three should work. Shh, Roman, shh, 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 Wait, you're about to cry. Lucky. I win! <laughs> I win again! Yes! This is what I'm gonna do whenever I need a pick-me-up. Do you see a 
Do you see something in my eye? I'm not seeing so good. Must be how you beat me. Right. Thank you in advance for driving me home. Let's go now. Yes, sir. Uh, let's go home. Oh! Almost missed it. Later, Nico. Give me a call sometime, okay? Will do for another round of darts. And pool. And bowling. Every single mini game in this game is so good. Thank you so much for watching what I think is another classic GTA 4 video. I was so terrified that my game was bugged. You guys have no idea how close I was to freaking out until I Googled it and then I found out the hard way that when you get arrested, you get all of your guns confiscated and then you have to go buy them all back. But like I said, that is the best case scenario. I would prefer that over getting a game breaking bug. But there was so much wacky chaos that happened in this episode. It's a good one. I'm proud of it. <laughs> I had so much fun. And I think one of the major highlights of this game for me is browsing the internet. I love how often they refresh the websites. There's always something new to look at and everything guarantees laughter if you have a dark sense of humor like myself. If you laughed at any point during this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.